Good morning, everybody. In this episode, we are heading to Livingston. That's our ultimate goal for the day. What we're going to do along the way is visit places like Virginia and Nevada City in Montana, which are old gold mining towns with some history. So let's get going and see how the day turns out. The drive from Missoula to Nevada City and Virginia City is a scenic three hour journey through Montana's beautiful mountains. But it's by no means boring. Every bend of the road in Montana opens a new jaw-dropping view. We love every minute of it. We were constantly in awe of the snow-capped peaks, stunning countrysides and the wide open spaces and that big sky that Montana is known for. We are currently in Nevada and Virginia cities. These are old historic sort of towns. We've had a fantastic drive coming through Montana. We've seen all the footage, snow, rivers, beautiful, just beautiful. Lots of snow still. They had a big snowstorm yesterday, apparently. Another five inches of snow, I think they said. So it's paying off for us. We got little snow bits everywhere. Lovely. Nevada City in Madison County, Montana was a bustling hub in the 1860s during the Gold Rush era, alongside its twin city, Virginia City. As the gold dwindled and prospectors left, Nevada City transformed into a ghost town. However, since the late 1950s, it has reinvented itself as a fascinating tourist destination, drawing visitors with its stunning assortment of 19th century buildings including the renowned Nevada City Museum and Music Hall. Hello, my name's Ray. I work for the Nevada City Museum and Music Hall. And um, this is a really wonderful place to visit with a lot of history. So one of the things, after you pay admission, one of the things that you would be able to see first would be, you'd first go through the Music Hall right here that has a lot of player pianos, uh, fairground organs and similar machines. Some even simulate full orchestras. Yeah, and if you put some quarters in there, they'll play you some nice tunes or two. It's definitely, they're definitely the nice music machines that you would have had even before jukeboxes. Yeah, and then if you go through the double doors that way, that'll get you to the town of Nevada City that has a lot of 19th century buildings that are assembled here from, that have been assembled here from throughout the state of Montana. And they're probably about like 
40 some buildings back there, give or take. We usually have about like 23, 25 unlocked for the day. Yeah, and there's like so many interesting buildings back there, such as the Sedman home that was uh, built by uh, Oscar Sedman for him and his family to live. He was like a miner, a legislator, uh, or basically did a, wore a lot of hats and he was pretty well off. It would have been a mansion back in the day. There's the post office for the no longer existent town of Ironrod. There's a wagon barn back there, which uh, which houses a lot of a lot of interesting, uh, you know, wagons, freight wagons, stagecoaches, that type of thing. Uh, a blacksmith shop, yeah, and so so many different other things. The Nevada City Music Hall boasts the most extensive public assortment of automated music machines in North America. Charles and Sue Bovey started their collection of these machines in the 1940s, amassing a unique array of antiques that's truly unparalleled. While many of these machines are still in excellent working condition, others are currently undergoing restoration in collaboration with AMICA's Adopt a Piano program. What a great program. Get some dynamite, get me out. Thanks to the efforts of the Bovey family, the town has been beautifully restored and transformed into a living historical museum. Visitors can explore the original log buildings with 14 of them being original to the town's establishment. This unique destination offers live historic events and reenactments on some weekends, allowing visitors to step back in time and experience life as it was in the late 1800s. It's a fantastic place for the whole family to have fun and enjoy an educational adventure. What do you reckon? Time for a haircut. Today, the town is the property of the state of Montana and is under the management of the Montana Heritage Commission. No water. Drought. <laughs> Nevada City has also been a backdrop to movies and TV series, including Butcher's Crossing, starring Nicolas Cage, Territory's Best, and parts of the movie The Ballad of Lefty Brown, among many others. Discovered in 1863, Virginia City was also once a booming gold rush town. Visitors can enjoy a variety of activities, including shopping, dining and accommodation. And for a delicious meal, the Star Bakery is a perfect stop, while the Bale of Hay Saloon offers a welcoming atmosphere for a refreshing drink. Additionally, the HS Gilbert Brewery not only provides a taste of history, but also hosts live performances, adding to the vibrant experience. For those wanting to extend their stay, modern accommodations are available within the charming 19th century environment, allowing guests to fully immerse themselves in the rich history and unique atmosphere of Virginia City. A tour bus ride is also available through the summer months. The elevation of Virginia City is 5,882 feet or around 1,800 metres. I'm absolutely in love with Montana. This state is beautiful. From the big mountains, the snow-capped mountains, to the rolling hills. If you have never been to Montana, you need to make this one of your bucket list places. Virginia City is a historic place like Nevada City. Lots of interesting things to look at. This is a really cool place and, and I'm a, a lover of history, so I'm really loving being here and seeing this stuff. 
what you get, Scott? Got me yourself a Montana shirt. We love Montana. Sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. We continued our journey towards our next Airbnb, travelling a short distance to Bozeman through more of Montana's stunning scenery. If you've never seen these mountains in person, you really, really do need to come here. They are amazing to see in videos and pictures, but in real life, they leave you speechless. They are breathtaking. After soaking in the breathtaking views of the Madison River Valley, we made a quick pit stop in busy Bozeman before heading east to Livingston. We grabbed a pizza and then made our way south to Paradise Valley where our next Airbnb was waiting for us. Well, it's about 6 p.m. We have arrived at our accommodation just outside of Livingston. We stopped into Rose's Pizza uh, just on the way through. Our Paradise Valley hideaway offered uninterrupted mountain views and a cozy fire pit to bask in the fading daylight. You may recognize this stunning valley from hit movies and TV shows such as Yellowstone spin-off 1883 featuring Faith Hill and Tim McGraw as well as The Old Way, starring Nicolas Cage. It was the perfect spot to wrap up an incredible day and spend our final night in beautiful Montana. Well, Montana, this is good night. It's not goodbye, I wanna come back. I love you, Montana. You've been beautiful. You've put on a show with the snow. It's everything we wanted and more. And the people are beautiful, friendly, polite. It's everything we dreamed of. Till next time, look after your mates.